Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. In today's session, I shall discuss on the topic Internet Group Management Protocol. So, previous video lecture, I gave the introduction on multicast routing protocols, that is the classification. The next one here, I am going to explain regarding the Internet Group Management Protocol. This is not a routing protocol. This is going to collect the membership information from all the different networks and pass on to the routers. In the alert, that is, it starts giving this information to the upstream router, that router in turn gives to the other route. I shall give you the uh, network scenario also to make you understand this particular, the working of this IGMP. So, IGMP, Internet Group Management Protocol. This is the actual protocol that is playing a, a very important role in the multicast routing protocol also. See, we have DVMRP, we have MOSPF, we have PIMDM, PIMSM, all these are the multicast routing protocols. But their functioning is possible because of what? Because of this protocol, Internet Group Manage. This is a protocol that is helping these DVMRP, MOSPF, PIMDM to build the tree. So, in how to how this protocol is helping to build the multicast tree? So let us take one network here. To this network is connected what connected are the different host. Okay. So now, so this part of this, uh, whatever diagram I had given, the end part of the diagram I have presented here. So in the previous topic, I have written here, okay, there is one host to which it is connected to one router N1 or N2, any, any name you can give. And this is the router. This router in turn is what connected to different routers because it, it is connected to different networks you need to show different routers also so you are showing here what n2 n3 n4 and n5 now this part of the diagram i am presenting it here because as i said this diagram is what when we say n4 n5 n1 are the group members actually in each of these networks are the host that are present here so these host can be the what the members of a, any group. When there is one single host also which is a member of the group then N4 also becomes automatically the member of the group. See, so this part of the diagram I am showing it here. Now how the membership information is collected from this to this router or this router how does it collect? It sends a query message. Okay, What is the message name? It sends a query message to this network. That means this router is sending a query message to this router sorry to this network now this network has to respond to the query and that response is called as the report message now here you need to know what is a query message and what is a response message first thing you see here query message itself can be of three types one is the general query another is the group specific query and the third one is the source and group specific query so in the query message if there is a general query message it is simply what the router is trying to know the members belonging to any group in general because the router has not received any information about a particular group or it wants to know whether there are active members in that group or not. It is a general query message. So that query is sent towards the network here from the router. So and for this general query message, the destination address is 224.0.0.1. It is definitely a multicast address. But the significance of this address is what this message, this query is sent to all host, all routers also. That means the message, the query is received by all routers and all networks. And the reason for making other routers also receive the query message is since this router is trying to collect the group membership information, the other router should refrain from sending the query message once again to the network. For that reason only this particular address is always used in whenever a query, uh, general query message is sent to the network to collect the group membership information. The second type of uh, query message is a group specific message. For one specific group only, the router is trying to find out what whether there are members existing in that group or not. See, I have given you very clearly there are groups, group A, group B. If there is no information receiving for group A from the, these networks, 
uh, group a, the networks that are belonging to group a if they are not sending any information to the router then definitely the router is going to send a query called as group specific and the uh, destination address for the group specific query will be what the multicast address of that group only if there are if it is sending to group a then it is going to send what it is going to use the multicast address for the group a if it is group b it is you going to use the multicast address for the group b that is why you can see for other queries that means for group specific it is going to use what the group address and for source and group specific also it makes use of the group address that group address only is used here so the second group specific is only specific to some group the router is interested in knowing the members of that group fine so this is about the second query message third is source and group specific so in the previous uh, lecture video i have shown uh, i have clearly told you the source based tree approach source and group combination so like s and g the source group combination that is this for this particular group okay if for the if the source is yes for a particular group then the router is interested to know that whether the members of the group are interested in receiving the message from that particular source s1 to some two groups s2 for the other groups or the same groups so source and group this combination of these two so that particular query is sent from this router here to find out for a particular source whether the members are interested in receiving the message or not from a particular source whether the members are it interested in receiving the message or not is the uh, actual query sent from the router so that's why we say source and group specific now once the query messages uh, these type of query messages are sent to the network to collect the group membership information the response is coming in the form of a report here report contains complete record of the information about the different groups that means the report contains what first it gives the information about yes there are members which belong to a certain group group a group b they are active members and there are members which are interested in receiving the message from a particular source that is group to source to group uh, complete information is also included in the report and if particular members are, if few members are not interested in receiving from a particular source that is exclusion we say that particular information is also included in the report so the report is coming from the network to this router so that the router will come to know the details of all the what member uh, all the groups and the members in the group that is not just one group multiple groups once again source to group combination so that information is definitely needed so this is what this router is going to do collecting this router this router so all these end routers are collecting the group uh, membership information and see look here once the query message is sent the network will respond with the report message this uh, router will send that uh, report message details to its upstream router and this upstream router like that if there are few more routers here each router will try to send what to towards what towards the source router only then it is easy for the source router to construct the multicast tree so the multicast tree is completely constructed with the help of what igmp protocol though it is not see remember it is not a routing protocol it is helping the routing protocols in constructing the multicast tree so this is what you need to know so a question can be asked for 5 marks for this particular topic you are going to write the general operation you are going to write the three different types of query messages and one uh, type of message is as the response that is the report message and you can say that yes these are the different types of addresses that are used here so you are going to show definitely what the multicast addresses for general query the ip address is this one for other queries whatever is the group address that is mentioned as the destination address for the report this address is used now why this address is used 224.0.0.222 the reason is this version protocol igmp version 3 the destination address the address the multicast address assigned to version 3 is 22 uh, 224 that is 20 uh, 224 dot zero dot zero twenty two so that's the reason this is the address and one more uh, a very simple one mark question can be asked it is a thinking based question it says the here in the explanation it says that the igmp message uses a ttl value equal to one now why the ttl value equal to one is used so look here the hop is only one isn't it when the report message is going towards the router that is to the to the router to which it is connected the network is interested what in sending the information to the router to which it is 
connected and that is at a distance of one hop only isn't it? it at a distance of one hop so it will use the value ttl equal to one so that once it reaches the router the ttl value becomes zero fine so that's the reason the igmp message will make a value equal to make the ttl value equal to one in this case so this is all about what the internet group management protocol hope the explanation is clear to you all thank you bye bye take care